Welcome to Food for Thought. Today I'm going to talk to you about a food that is familiar, that you have probably been eating since childhood, it's been on the market for centuries, and yet the majority of people don't know how to cook it. There are many varieties of potatoes. There are dozens of varieties. So let's start with the red potato. This is one of my favorites because it's versatile, it can go into any recipe, very easy to find, uh, the, the grocery store never runs out. If cooked properly, they are creamy, just dense enough, and they hold their shape pretty nicely. They are perfect for mashed potatoes, salads, you can also put them in stews and soups. They have a very nice flavor. My next potato is the one that is not often used or not used properly. This is a Yukon Gold and it has a yellow uh, smooth skin. It's also yellow inside. This one is special. They are very good for uh, roasting, uh, they are good for baking, uh, and they are good for making scalloped potatoes because they don't fall apart. And this is the famous, your regular baking potato. Uh, it's called, sometimes it's referred to, to as Idaho potato. The real name is russet potato. The most common and loved baking potato. But it can play a bigger role in your recipes. It is creamy, flaky, and fluffy. It is used in soups, stews. I use them a lot in creamy sauces to replace milk or cream for my clients who are dairy intolerant. They are not good for mashed potatoes because they will make your mashed potatoes sticky and kinda like glue. This one is the most exotic of the bunch today and it's called a Japanese potato. It's originally grown in Japan, but it is now grown in the United States and you can find it pretty much in every grocery store. Uh, most of the time it is called a Japanese potato you can also find it under Korean potato, Asian potato, or by its Japanese name, Kutobuki or Satsuma. It has a purplish red hue. Uh, its flesh is, all, is purple, and when it's cooked, it turns into a bright purple as well. It is really good for you. It's a tuber. It is not related to potatoes. It does have about the same amount of starch, so don't use this because you want low carb, although you, potatoes are good for you, so you should never remove them from your diet. But it has the same amount uh, of starch uh, as the rest. Uh, the advantage of this one is they have a very sweet flavor. You can bake them, you can steam them, you can roast them. Once they are cooked, they have a very sweet flavor. They taste like you have added sugar to them, but you can also eat them raw. They are very crunchy and they are sweet. They don't have any juice. When you cut them, they are pretty, they are, don't have lots of moisture. Finally, last but not least, is the sweet potato. This is the uh, regular sweet potato fi uh, found on American markets, also known as yams. Lots of people use them instead of regular potatoes because they think they are lower in carbohydrates and they are healthier. It is true that they're healthy, but they are not healthier than uh, the regular potatoes. Uh, these, this is also not a potato, it is just another tuber. Um, it, the only difference between this and regular potatoes when it comes to nutrition is four grams of carbohydrates. So enjoy any potato you like, they are all good. Uh, sweet potatoes are an excellent source of vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin B6, magnesium, and manganese. These are very important trace minerals. So this is Potato 101 for today and please join us for our next session where we will show you how to cook these potatoes. If you have any questions, you can contact us and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm.